Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the multi-light setup in Arnold and Nuke. Uh, this is a super cool technique because it allows you to make changes in intensity and color temper temperature of the light in post-production and then uh, uh, passing through uh, again into Arnold or any other render engine you, you're using. So to begin with I created this a simple file with a three-point light setup that you can download from the description below. Uh, I just uh, created three lights, the key light, the fill light, and the backlight. So in order to uh, separate each light and separ separate in different AOVs, uh, we're going to have to create uh, three different uh, light groups. To do this, select any of the lights. I'm selecting the key light first and create a new light group here in the light tab and in the AOV light group I will create a new a new um, light group by naming it uh, as multi-light 1 you can name it uh, in a different name if you want but I'm used to name this way just because if I need to add more light I just can uh, uh, include in the same light group uh, as uh, as the as the other light. This uh, the fill light also I'll call it multi light two, and finally the backlight multi light three. Cool. So now that we have the light groups. Uh, we have to create three different custom AOVs here in the render settings in the AOV tab we click add custom and I'm gonna call the new AOV multi-light multi-light one so for the second one multi-light two and multi-light three Oh, finally, uh, we're going to select uh, the first AOVs and create an expression to filter first the RGB channels for the render and second the light group that const contains each light. So, for multi light one, I'm going to add the key light, so I have to first uh, add the RGB channels. To do this, just click in the three equal sign button here. Whoops. Um, and select the RGBA expression that is a Z point star. Uh, then to add all the lights or the default light group, uh, click on L point default. And to filter the light group for the key light, I'm going to uh, change, uh, erase the default uh, text and put multi-light 1, which is the key light here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it just to double check that everything is correct, yeah. And do the same, I'm gonna do the same for multi light two and multi light three. So if everything is correct in the Arnold render view, you're gonna be able to see the different AOVs with the different light groups. So we have the key light, the fill light, and the backlight. So this image is ready to be rendered render it, and uh, I'm gonna uh, mix all the 
the AOVs in a single image to recreate this UD render. Uh, I already have the sequence done, but I just want to show you that I made an EXR and merged all the AOVs just to have one single sequence for the three, uh, three passes. So here in Nuke, you can see that I have the beauty render and now I'm going to split into three by using the, sh the shuffle node. So I'm going to extract the three AOVs. So I'm going to select uh, multi one, then the multi light two, and then multi light three. So to combine all three, the all three AOVs can use uh, a merge node. And change the operation from over to plus. So if everything is correct, this should look exactly as the beauty pass. Now the advantage of having this set up here is that you can change the intensity of each light by adjusting the exposure with the simple exposure node. So for instance, if I wanna increase the intensity of the fill light, I'll just put an exposure node in the multi-light two and increase its exposure. Also, if I wanted to change the co the color temperature of a particular light we just have to use a gray node and for instance I could um, make it a little bit uh, red so to do this I just uncheck the red channel and decrease the other two channels, the green one and the blue one so I can change the color temperature of that particular light. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, transfer all these changes uh, from Nuke to Arnold and this is super useful because in case that your supervisor or your client makes a specific change to a light or uh, saying like the color or the exposure of the light you can make quick changes here in Nuke and if you like them you can easily transfer them into Arnold